Hi, my name is Ayla and welcome to Top Financial Agency. Now, if you're new to the life insurance industry, I'm going to break down some ways that you can start to build your business. One way that you can build your business is by buying leads. There is a department specifically for that. So if you want to build your business based on leads, let me know and I can direct you to the expert in that field. There are pros and cons to buying leads. Number one, uh, there's a lot of competition. So even if the lead that you're buying is exclusive, that doesn't mean that that person that submitted that lead didn't submit it to a lot of other forms and a lot of other agencies. So while that lead might be exclusive to you, there might be other life insurance agents that are also fighting for that lead. The other con is that typically you're going to want to make a quick sale. So you're probably just going to sell them a term policy, maybe something fast, and you might not always build a relationship with that client. That also means that there's going to be a likelihood of another agent coming over here and taking that client away from you and selling their product. The upside is, is that you don't really have to prospect, go to networking events, or talk to your war market. All you're really doing is buying leads and selling policies. And you could make about a quarter million dollars a year, let's say, just buying leads and selling to those clients. Now, the other way that you can build your life insurance business is through networking, uh, war market, or prospects. So I'm gonna go over a little bit on how to do that. Let's start with networking events. You've got to think about it like this. You just launched your business in the life insurance industry. There's a lot of products that you can offer, but you've got to market your business to people. And that's just anything. No matter what type of business that you get into, you've got to market your business. So our inventory is really people. The more people we know, the more people will know what we do. So your intention is just to market your business and tell as many people as you can about what you do. And one way is by going to networking events. Now I've gone to networking events that are specifically for entrepreneurs and they'll give you a name tag and maybe if you're in the financial services industry, you might get a green name tag. If you are like in the healthcare industry, you might get a pink name tag, etc. But the problem with that is that, first of all, there's going to be a lot of other life insurance agents that are competing, but everybody is sort of going with the intention to connect and sell their business. The other thing that you can do is go to a networking event that's geared towards maybe a topic or an interest that you might share. So for example, I'm a mom, so I might go to different events where there might be other moms. And now my intention is to make friends and connect with those moms. So now consider what interest you like. Do you like the beach? Do you like biking? Do you like hiking? Do you like sports? So just think about all the hobbies and interests that you have. Where would you go to meet other people that have the same interests as you? Now you're gonna go to these events and your intention is to connect, make friends, maybe connect with their social media, um, maybe exchange phone numbers with somebody. I mean, really your intention is just to be friendly, to be cool, to be nice, and to connect with other people that you think are friendly, cool, and nice. Now, the next step is going to be to build a relationship with those people. I mean, sometimes you're talking to somebody and in your first conversation, you let people know, yeah, I sell life insurance, I do investments, I do life settlement, credit repair, or whatever whatever it is that you do. And they might say, Hey, I actually need some of that. Or I know somebody that needs some of that. And then you'll say, okay, cool. Let's connect. And then we'll catch up or I'll call you later this week, or we'll get coffee or whatever it is. But let's say when you connect with somebody, you don't mention what you do. So that, that ha that's happened to me too. So there was a time that I went to a park, I ran into a, a mom and she just seemed really cool, connected with her and we exchange our Instagrams and I think phone number also. And then I just asked her if she wanted to hang out. So I said, hey, I'm gonna go to the fair or I'm gonna go to this or I'm gonna go to whatever, you know, some sort of an event that she can come and bring her kids and I can come and bring my kids. I invited her and then we built a friendship. And then she ended up getting a policy with me and she ended up coming on board and working on getting her license. So the next thing, what I really wanna press on is what do you like to do? go to those places where there's other people that also like to do what you like to do and connect and make friends. The other thing is prospecting. So wherever you go, there's people. You get gas, there's people. You go to the grocery store, there's people. You go to a party, there's people. There's always people everywhere. And what your intention is, is to connect, 
you can let them know what you're doing but if you don't if there's someone that's just cool connect with them exchange social media get their phone number and then down the week week reach out to them and just say hey you know i connected with you at the grocery store i connected with you at the park where i connected you with this hey what are you doing later this week i'm going here do you want to come and for example the la fair is coming up I met a lot of moms and what I'll do is if there's an event coming up, I reach out to these moms, hey, I'm going to the LA Fair, do you want to come? Or I'm going here, do you want to come? And that also is good if you're always looking for things to do, finding events to go to, or you might even reach out to those moms, hey, are you doing anything this weekend or is there anything cool that you think that we can do? Maybe this holiday is coming up, etc. Or you might just connect with one of those prospects and go get coffee with them or maybe go for a hike. Let's say you meet somebody that likes to hike and you're hiking and you meet somebody on a trail. You might connect with them, make friends with them, and then maybe go hiking with them another day. And as you're building a relationship with these, this person, you're letting them know what you do. So you're letting her know, hey, I sell life insurance. This is how it works, blah, blah, blah. Check out my website, etc. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'd love to show you what I do in case you know anybody. What do you do? I mean, you want to generally be interested in the other person as well. But then you also want to share with them what you do. And if they don't buy anything from you, and not every new friend has bought something from me, but when they hear that somebody wants a product, I want them to think about me. What you can also do is set up a booth. Sometimes you might have to pay for some of these booths and the um, fees really range. So it's up to you on how much you want to spend. So good places to set up a booth might be farmer's markets, swap meets, flea markets, um, sometimes different fairs might be good places to set up a booth. Now the cool thing is, is that our insurance companies give us free marketing material. So you can just order a bunch of brochures from different carriers, or you can even create your own brochures that explain a little bit more about what you do. If you don't have your own brochures, you can even simply just take a clipboard and jot down people's names and numbers. And what you want to do is say, hey, this is what I do. I sell life insurance, life settlement. Do you know anyone that has a product, a, light, a term policy that's going to expire? Or do you know anyone that wants to make or save more money or whatever pitch you come up with? Your goal is just to reach out to people, maybe drop off a flyer or really collect their information and reach out to them at a later date. Now there's also your warm market. Now think about when a real estate agent gets their license. I mean, they let everybody know that they can help you buy or sell your next home. I have real estate agent friends and they're constantly marketing themselves, marketing themselves not only on social media, but they go out um, for lunch and they'll let somebody know, hey, I'm your local real estate agent. If you know anyone that wants to buy or sell a home, send them over to me. That's no different for us in the life insurance industry. Uh, you want to let everybody that you know know what it is that you're doing. And the easiest thing to do is just to book an appointment. Now, when you're new, you're probably going to need to go out with a trainer. So you're going to go with the trainer and then you guys split, split the commission 50-50. But once you get uh, a little bit more exposure and you know what you're doing, then you just want to reach out to you know your in-law or your neighbor or your ex-boss, really literally anybody that you know. And all you want to say is, hey, I'd love to get coffee with you I um, or on Zoom, and I want to share with you what I'm doing. I just got my license, and I just launched my business, and in case you know anybody, I, I want you to refer them over to me. So I want you to know what I'm doing. So let's get some coffee or meet up on Zoom. The best bit of advice that I ever received was, you want to be the mayor of your town. So you want everybody to know who you are and what you do. And the last way to build your business is social media. I mean, everybody's on social media, so you definitely wanna be on there to market your own business. Now, you can start off by doing YouTube videos and talking about the products and services that you do. You can also do videos to educate potential licensed agents, potential unlicensed agents that you're going to recruit and train. And then, of course, you wanna educate future clients. So you wanna use YouTube, Reels on Instagram, videos on uh, Facebook, they actually also have reels or maybe even LinkedIn and create videos out there so that you start to create this audience and people start to know what you do. You might also want to join different Facebook groups and create relationships with people that are in groups of interest that you're interested in. 
maybe again i'm going to bring up moms maybe there's different mom groups or hiking groups or maybe you have a special type of dog and you join a group with other people that love that same type of dog and then you want to post on a regular basis but you also want to comment on other people's posts you want to basically interact with the people in that group then you're going to start adding some of those people into your friends list and on your social media, you should be on a regular basis marketing what it is that you do. So you're going to go to these groups. You're going to build a bit of a presence. You're going to interact with the people there. You'll add some of those, bring them to your personal profile where you are marketing what you do. And of course, the most direct approach is to send people messages directly. So you might see somebody and say, hey, you know, I really liked your profile. You stood out to me. What do you do? This is what I do. I'm looking for people that want to make uh, money on the side. Right now, everybody's looking for a side hustle. So the biggest takeaway that I can give you is if there's somebody there, if there's somebody in your vicinity, if there's somebody that you can approach, let them know you and let them know what you do.